So if you click on this button, it will give you everything you need to get free traffic from Google with AI artificial intelligence. Mick Meany here, and I have been making 100% of my income from my websites since 2004, and I've helped brands and influencers that you have heard of. And in that time, with the advent of AI artificial intelligence, well, that has caused the biggest disruption to digital marketing that I have ever seen. So if you want to get free traffic from Google, it has never been easier. And the great thing is to get free traffic from Google with AI artificial intelligence, we can do it automatically with just one tool. And it only takes three easy steps that anyone can do. So to get free traffic from Google with AI artificial intelligence, you need to do these three things. Step one, find the right keywords. Step two, create the right content. And step three, optimize that content. But while traffic from Google is great, it's not the quickest way to get free traffic. So towards the end of this, I will give you a way to get traffic much faster than waiting around for Google. But let's start with my favorite artificial intelligence tool at the moment, because I believe that right now, this is the best all in one solution. But in addition to using that tool, I am going to give you a few extra ones so you're not tied to using any one option and you have the freedom to move around and mix and match as you want to. So let's go ahead and go to the computer and make a start on today's lesson. Check this out. It's called Get Genie. I'm going to put links to all the tools I mentioned in the description. This is one of the best ways to get free traffic from Google using AI and it's got a free option as well. Now this is an all in one tool. It will give you absolutely everything you need for free. But like I said, I'm going to run you through some additional options because you might not want to use this. You might want to mix and match. So why I'm recommending this over another tool, maybe like phrase, to be honest, I'm falling out of love with phrase because while we can get started with get genie for free, the paid option starts at around 13 bucks a month and it gives you everything you need. Check this out. Well, phrase starts at $1 for a five day trial. If you upgrade to the full plan to get everything you need, it's not 15 bucks a month because to get the SEO add on, you need to spend 35 bucks a month in addition. So it brings it to 50 bucks a month if you want to write and optimize just four articles a month. So I think when it comes to getting the most bang for your buck, get genie outperforms everything else on the market at the moment. Let me show you how to use it. It's so simple. It's so intuitive. So we've got these writing templates on the left hand side. So if we're stuck for content ideas, this has got your back. It's going to help you generate tons and tons of articles very quickly. For example, if you want to create listicles and we all know how great listicles are, it's going to help you generate that as well. It's got things like related topics. So if you're stuck with your content, just put in pack, just put in a paragraph and get a list of related topics to cover. It's going to give you a list of questions that you could answer. It'll help you create an outline. And to be fair, that's the one reason why I was using phrase because it created these amazing outlines. But this tool, Get Genie, is going to do things a lot more intuitive and quicker than phrase can. So take the time to have a look through all of these templates. These are all great for top of funnel content. So if we dive in and start using it, I recommend starting with the blog wizard. So here we're going to put in a long tail keyword. Now, granted, this isn't the best one to go with, as we'll see in a few minutes. But I just want to give you an example to help you get up and running quickly. So it's going to analyze your keyword here. It's going to give you the search volume, competition and the cost per click. Generally speaking, the higher the cost per click, the more difficult the keyword is to rank for. This one is going to be pretty hard to rank for, but that's OK, because if we scroll down here, in addition to the search volume trend, it's also going to give us related keywords. So this is a list of ideas that we could potentially use. So we've got the search volume trend. We've also got Google Trends so we can see the long term growth or decline of our keywords. It's got competitor analysis if we fetch the data. It's going to generate a list of competitors. It's going to analyze their websites and show us how they are ranking. So let's 
leave it do its thing and come back to that in a couple of seconds because we've also got questions asked so if we're really stuck for content ideas we just go through this list and we can insert these into the editor and create unique pieces of content based around these questions and now it's brought back some competitor data for us we can see the rank we can see how many words they're using and how many headings they're using to achieve that rank this is, is just one of the many factors that goes into a website ranking, of course, but it's a good starting point. So you will know roughly how many words you need to write in your article if you want to compete. OK, when it comes to writing the article, this is a really nice feature. We can add context. So as you, you can see, what I've written here is this is top of funnel content to address the pain point and present the best options for a beginner to start with a ketogenic diet. Add keywords that will help me to rank for the key phrase, keto diet for beginners. We've got the creativity there, which we can play around with if we want to, and the number of results that it generates. It's already generated a title for me. I'm just gonna go with that. I'm happy with that. It's generated an intro paragraph. Again, I'm happy enough with that. I'm gonna click next. And now it's giving me an outline to use. This is incredibly powerful because it's gone through all the competitors, looked at their headings and their subheadings, and then generated a list of the topics that it believes I need to cover if I want to rank for my keywords. If I'm happy with all of these or if I want to remove some, that's fine. But once I'm happy, I click next. Now you'll have two options, customized content and one click blog. One click blog is a paid feature but if we want to customize content, which I recommend you do anyway, click on that. What it's going to do is allow you to generate content for each one of these headings. So that's going to give you a lot more editorial control over the article when you break it down into individual components or individual sections and almost approach each one of these as an article in its own right. That's going to help you to create more authoritative content. But like I said, this isn't the only option around. So let me show you my favorite keyword research tool. And before we continue, if you want to see how I got 30,000 visitors every day for free, I will give you a completely free four day course. You're going to get traffic without SEO and without creating tons of content and without spending a single penny on advertising. So head over to profitcopilot.com slash traffic and get that free course. Okay, let's go back to the computer. So let me show you my favorite keyword research tool. This is Keyword Finder. It starts from around 20 bucks a month, but compare that to something like SEMrush, which starts at 129 bucks a month. So as you can see, it really is a bit of a no brainer because even at the agency plan, you're gonna save so much more money than if you went with something like SEMrush which has an equivalent plan of around 500 bucks a month. So Keyword Finder really is where it's at, in my opinion, because at the beginning of my content, if I had run it through a keyword tool like this, I would have discovered that the keyword I was targeting is hard. So instead of wasting time targeting a pretty difficult keyword, this Keyword Finder tool would have given me suggestions on easier keywords to target. For example, Instead of keto diet for beginners, I could have targeted keto diet for dummies. And that is at least somewhat possible. So that's keyword finder. Again, I'll put links to all of these in the description. Now, when it comes to creating the content, this is what I recommend. This is called Koala. And as you can see, it's nine bucks a month. And what you get for that is just insane. So let's take a look at one of the competitors to Koala. It is Jasper or Jarvis, whatever it's called at the moment. This is it, and it starts at 50 bucks a month. And in my opinion, Koala is much better. And I'll show you why. You can use this for free. Let me show you what it can do. So you can choose the type of content to create, and check this out. You can rewrite existing blog posts. So you just paste the URL in there, Add your target keywords and you're good to go. You can also SEO optimize it if you have a paid account and you can set the tone of voice, set the language, the country that you might want to target. Another nice feature is the point of view. So you can have first person, second person, third person. It will pull real time search data. 
It's got some nice filtering options there. It has a handy outline editor as well. You can create a fact section, which is really useful. And it has this include key takeaways. Plus, we now have advanced options as well. So if you want to link to resources or landing pages or products or affiliate links, you just load up your links here. You can add extra title prompts and section prompts if you want to. So that's Koala. There is a link to this in the description. Now, what about optimizing your content so you can get that free traffic from Google? Well, one of my favorite tools here is Market Muse. And again, you can start using it for free. And this is what it looks like. So it will analyze your competitors. It will create a target score for your content to reach. So it will tell you exactly what keywords needs to go into your content. It will give you the frequency that you should be using as well and it will help you to optimize that content for google so it's going to give you a target word count to make sure that your content seems authoritative enough and there's a whole heap of other things this software can do and i'll let you explore that in your own time so once you have your content ready you're happy with it and you're considering publishing it it's time to bring it into another ai tool it's grammarly it's going to make sure that the content is not plagiarized. It's going to give you an overall performance score based on the word count, the readability and the vocabulary of the article. It's going to help you to correct the spelling, grammar and punctuation. It's going to help you to make your content more clear, more engaging. It's going to help with your delivery and it's going to analyze it for plagiarism. So if there's content being pulled from somewhere else it's going to find it it's going to help you to rewrite it so it is 100 percent unique to you i would recommend keeping your plagiarism score to five percent or less and this piece of content has a plagiarism score of two percent so that's perfect and while you can now get free traffic from google with ai artificial intelligence if you want to get traffic much faster and see how I got 30,000 visitors every day for free and how my student Matt Feast used the same strategies to make $2 million online. Go to profitcopilot.com traffic and get that free course. You won't need to spend money on advertising or make tons of content or rely on SEO. And in a few days from now, your traffic will be much higher than it is at the moment. So thank you for being here today. I will hopefully see you again very soon. Goodbye and God bless.